but it's just gonna to find a way. Again, this is a oh, this is Bruce again, and um, I'm just saying what I was just saying before. Don't try to stop the waves. Let the waves come and let the waves go. Don't stand on judgment on yourself. Let it come and let it go. And don't respond to it. Let it come and let it go. And therefore you'll find peace. And therefore you'll be able to move on. And others will find peace. And you'll be at peace and you'll be free. So, all formations are transient. So, these are three characteristics, characteristics of existence. All formations are transient. All formations are subject to suffering. All things are without an ego entity. Corporality is transient. Feeling is transient. Perception is transient. Mental formations are transient. Consciousness is transient. And that which is transient is subject to suffering. And of that which is transient, the suffering and change, one cannot rightly say, this belongs to me, I bet it's my ego. Therefore, whatever there is of corporality of feelings, perception, and mental formations, whether one's own, gross or subtle, lofty or low, far or near, one should understand according to reality and true wisdom, this does not belong to me. This I am not. This is not my ego. Suppose a man who is not blind would he behold as they would use an example, the bubbles in the Ganges, as they are driving along, and he should watch them and carefully examine them. And after carefully examining them, they will appear to be empty and unreal and unsubstantial. In exactly the same way do we behold the corporal phenomena, feelings, perceptions, mental formations, and state of consciousness whether the past, the present, or the future are far near, and he watches them and examines them carefully. And after carefully examining them, they appear to him empty, void, and without an ego. The same thing. That applies to everything. And if you don't understand what I just said, just think about taking some soap and water and just making a bubble. And then that bubble just goes and then just disappears. And then sooner or later it just busts. It's the same thing. But it just takes a longer, I mean, life is the same thing, but it just takes a longer process. You have a loved one, someone that you love, and all of a sudden, they pass on. And then you think about all the times that you had. You know, what is it? You know, you have to see things in perspective. And you have to know that these processes have been going on since immemorial times. And you have to look at that in that respect. Breathe in. And breathe out. And just let yourself go. Let your memories go. Let them move on. Breathe in. And breathe out. Just let it go. And truly find peace. And truly understand what the word awesome means and that you are awesome. Breathe in and breathe out. You are awesome. And let the air pass, let the breath pass. Breathe in and breathe out for breath is eternal. Breath can't be created or destroyed. Breathe in and breathe out, but everything else can. That's why it's important to breathe in, breathe in eternity, and let it out. Because that which you breathe exists forever. But that which take in the air is transient. And be at peace. And be at one with your existence. And live on, and strive on, and achieve great things in this life. Help those out in need. 
work your hardest. Breathe in and breathe out. And let the mess pass. Let your own judgments pass. Let everybody that do evil pass. And just know one thing, that death and birth does not exist. Breathe in and breathe out. There's no beginning and there's no end. And understand that whole perception is when you understand transiness and when you understand eternal. There's so many things to know. I don't know if you ever heard of the Divas and the Asuras. And these are like primordial beings who are at war with each other. And we'll talk about that even further. But just this lecture makes me think about that. This just talking about it makes me think about that. But let's get back to something that's practical. And just breathe in and breathe out. And understand whoever you may be, whoever you are, let it go. Let it go. And understand what your existence is. And just for food of thought, have you ever seen a, have you ever worked with an old person? A person of years that's 90 years old. So you had to have them dress. You had to help them get ready. And when they use the restroom, you have to help them clean up themselves. You know, and usually a lot of times the teeth are decayed. And, you know, there's a smell about them. And the bones are not moving. But then just to separate that and to know that is you. That is you, regardless of how old you are. There's going to come a time in life where you're going to not be able to move anymore. Where you're not going to be able to use the restroom without assistance. Now, some of you may never have that. But a lot of people will. That is you. There's no separation. That is your body. And that's what's going to happen to us all. Breathe in and breathe out. And just let it go. And be relaxed in peace. And know that there's no birth and there's no death. Even though things may appear a certain way, don't allow yourself to be taken by appearances. But to have your mind focus on you. And when I say you, I'm not talking about your experiences. I'm not talking about how you look. I'm not talking about your physical. I'm not talking about any representations or names. When I say you, I'm talking about something that's beyond human comprehension. Your existence. And to make it short, make it short I'm going to say this. You, female, male, whoever you are, you are God. Remember, subscribe, like, and continue to check out my channel. Let's grow together. Much love.